Right guys, John here, Team XP South Africa, and with me is Leon from Zarps, also hey Team XP. Um, very excited to have Leon, he's actually down from Johannesburg, so it's the first time we've actually met, but we've been speaking to each other for over a year, and uh, he heads up Team XP. Leon was also the first guy in South Africa with a dais, and he's probably clocked up, well definitely he's clocked up the most hours of anyone on the continent with a dais. Um, Today's video, we're going to be detecting this spot here, which is just under the Hottentos Holland Mountains. Um, and we've been finding a load of uh, shells. And Leon's the expert in uh, Boer War relics. Uh, he's also got a really good knowledge of shells, which he's going to share with us as well. And we're going to also be looking at his um, preferred program on the Anglo Boer War sites, which I've named um, Leon's ABW Deep Program. Lekker. Yeah, yeah, so good. Cool. Right, Leon. So, um, if I was just getting started with the dais, um, what would you say was would be the three pointers which you would tell a beginner uh, to get started? Um, well, right off the bat, um, I think don't worry too much about getting into the settings and understand the machine. The dais comes out with um, some excellent uh, factory settings as is. I would say if you're a beginner, jump into the dais fast uh, mode, you know, when you're going into fast yes. or new areas. Um, start off with that that mode um, and just spend time with the machine dig everything to start off with um, You know learn what tones are, are giving you what type of targets and then yeah. you can kind of pinpoint and focus on You know those uh, those targets okay. if you're going out to Boer War sites uh, with a lot less trash then I say move over to um, the, the, the the deep mode uh, which is number uh, three number six number six on the okay. number three is Day is fast, yes. which is nice for filtering out those trashy sites. And um, yeah, so for a beginner, start off with day is fast, awesome uh, factory default setting, and just spend the hours getting to know the machine. Yeah, so this was a surface find right over there and immediately I thought it was a coin but I'm looking at it and it's extremely, extremely thin but it's printed on both sides. It does look to me like it could be a coin. That's very thin, huh? It is very thin. Could be a token. I need to make up what it says there. Maybe we can give it a bit of a clean. Yes. Let's see if we can see what it looks like. Let's get the loop. Will your thing clean it up? Let's see if I can. Yeah. I hope it's not the inside of a bottle cap. What are you thinking? I don't think it's a coin. However, I do think it could be um, a token. To explain a found, token? We have found, so they used to use uh, tokens for returning uh, bottles, like uh, wine bottles. Okay. Um, also, now I'm not saying this this is it, but it does look with the rim. I've found tokens before in the past where, oops, um, during the war, uh, the Queen sent chocolates. In 1902, she sent boxes and boxes of chocolates to the soldiers yeah. um, during the war. And inside of those boxes of chocolates, they had these little mementos um, to kind of say thank you yes. and whatever. And um, if I just look at this rim, I actually found one that had the similar Regina and it had the Queen's head or the bust on the inside. That's really uh, cool. What a story. So, so that's, that's possibly what that could be. Um, I can definitely make out uh, the words Regina or Regina or whatever you want to pronounce it. <laughs> it's, not, it's not Regina. Yeah, I know it's not Regina. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's what I would say. Um, because they are this thin and they do corrode quite Let quite me easy. have a look quickly with the... So you'll see on the rim, it has like a rim with a, 
little dots going all around and then you have the Regina on the edge. Yeah. You see that? So I see the rim, yeah. I definitely think um, it's some type of token and um, I'm leaning towards those uh, tokens that we would find in those boxes of chocolates. This is so cool. This is an interesting find. Yeah. I think it's one of my most interesting ones I've found on this Very spot. Cool Very nice, yeah. Cool, nice one. Well done, John. Cool, Thank thanks, man. Okay, it's a bit of an 82 over here. It's my first target. Sounds a bit loud. But you can see a completely different soil. Not normally the range that we dig in. But it's nice and solid. Sand, it's in this grass. And it looks like maybe a piece of lead. Right over there. No, it's a bullet cartridge. So, what we've been finding, or what John's been finding in this area, it's another blank. You can see the flower over there. And uh, yeah, head stamp, rural laboratories. Um, this, however, looks like a different mark. So let's give us a quick brush. Yeah, so this is different. Royal Laboratories, it is a blank, but it's a Mark II. So it's a bit older. And uh, yeah, first decent target, nice little blank ground. So I was telling John that these blanks were normally used as uh, training horses in that uh, back in the day. So definitely an older cartridge. Right, so guys, I'm here in the, in the mid-80s again. It's got a little double ding-ding, so it means it's round. And it's out. It's either a bottle cap or it's a coin. It's neither. <laughs> it's a piece of tin, some kind of soft metal. Let's see if that's, let's see if that's everything. Yeah, that's what it was. All right, let's close this. There we are. See, just popped out. Another harmonica reed. This one a little bit more complete. So, uh, yeah, very cool. Another harmonica reed, but this one a little bit more fuller. So, uh, sorry for this hand. There's my glove hand. Nice. So I found that other piece right over here somewhere find more two pieces right up there by the tree and uh, found this piece right next to the road so lacquer nice piece of history cool so here's a bit of a rough signal. Jeez, 
whatever it is, it's absolutely my net. It's so tiny. It's a piece of solder. Oi. So Leon just found a harmonica reed over there by that big tree. He's come to my spot here in the Western Cape out of Gauteng and he's finding all my cool stuff. So I've told him to plant it back there so I can find it next week. Can you guys see that? Oh, wow. This is not on, Leon. <laughs> so, I don't want to say it is, but it looks like it's silver, boys. What? Yeah, so I can just see the silver six pins coming through there. So, nice. turn the camera away, Chris. I'm going to do something <laughs> terrible. Just going to wet it a little bit. Sorry for those watching. I don't mean to rub it. Oh, there is. I can't believe you're finding this all there. Well done. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of mud on it. So we're going to have to... Uh... Sorry guys for being gross. <laughs> this is how we do it in the field. Spit and polish. Spit and polish. Yeah. So okay, we're not going to get much cleaner than that. Yeah. It's not that old, but it does look like a 1938 South African sixpence. Wow, let's have a look, Leon. It's George of Bust, the back. Wow. Nice piece of silver. This is the first time I've seen a silver coin ever. Really, eh? Yeah. On your site? Yeah, well, yeah, in the Western Cape for me. <laughs> for me. Yeah, nice little silver. I'm going to send you back to Gauteng. <laughs> 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 it's not like you don't have enough up there. <laughs> Well wow. done. So what did that no, ring in at? Um, it was actually very deep, so it was coming in a bit of an iffy signal. Um, so that's what it was sounding like, right like that. On your deep program. On the deep program. So you listen for those. And I figured, because of the sand, this, it's a very sandy sand. Yes. You know? So I figured targets would be really deep and the, du the good targets will be really deep. So that's the sound that I was going for. And um, it was jumping in the low 80s to every now and again a sweet spot to a 94 wow um, which is which is that silver range so what do you reckon the history is here then silver would that have just been guys camp well, or I mean, parking out here yeah as a footpath or, or a road I mean these trees are, are quite old it could be anything you know it could be again this could be very much related to the post World War rounds that we've been finding yes um, like I said uh, first and second world war mm -hmm. and that would be spot on with those blanks so it could be from people coming here picnicking, it could be people just you know, walking this road, it could be people coming to picnic by the river, yeah. you, just, you just never know. So, so for us obviously silver is quite scarce and it's quite special. In those days silver would have been every day just a common coin? Uh, not necessarily a common coin, silver it was actually quite valuable. Okay. So losing a sixpence like this could have been you know, losing your wages, yeah, uh, oh, which, wow. is, which is quite hectic. Yes. Yeah. So um, yeah, I mean I figured these little flat spots that we're on yeah and like I said that side I mean Chris was with me yeah I found probably about three or four pieces of harmonica reed in about 20 20 meter radius so we, so we have got a good spot here yeah, so this is a very nice mm. spot but um, yeah nice. so this gives it a, a bit of a date nice 1930 awesome or 38 well done Leon let's give oh, you okay, a zarp fist pump <laughs> there we cheers go. guys thanks a lot well done amazing awesome. well I think guys so um yeah, it's been, a, it's been a great day hunting with Leon. It's been good having you down. Appreciate you coming to see us. Yeah, man, it was lekker. And uh, showing us your, your tips and tricks. And also nice seeing you pulling out the goods for real, you know. Yeah, and nice seeing you just uh, in the flesh. Yeah. yeah? <laughs> so um, hopefully, I think it's my turn to go up and see you guys soon. Yeah, for sure. And um, we'll make that happen. But yeah, well done. Thanks for an awesome day. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks to you, John. All right, guys. That's it from us here in Western Cape. We'll see you on the next hunt. Cool. Cheers, guys. Cheers, cheers.